brainwashing shown for the demonstration. You should only do this if you have time. You should not delay to the procedure for hand washing. Sterile gloves are preferred and come in the C. Tom's kit. These gloves in the demonstration are used for training purposes only. Inspect the ETT for components. You should have an ETT with a pilot balloon, a stylet inside the ETT, and a white ribbon necktie. These are shown in the demonstration. Insert 10 cc of air into the pilot balloon and check the distal cuff for malformations, leaks, and deformities. Withdraw the 10 cc of air and keep the syringe attached to the pilot balloon. Set it to the side. Remove the scalpel from the packaging and prepare the tracheal hook. Be careful not to injure yourself. Open the sterile gauze and place it to the side. A second option to tie the ETT down is the black neck strap. You can put this behind the patient's neck. Do not delay the procedure for this step. Check that your BVM is set up properly. You should have the PEEP valve set to five centimeters of water attached to the diverter, your ETCO2 filter line attached to the LP15 and the HEPA filter closest to the patient. Let's begin. Use the non-dominant hand to landmark the cricothyroid membrane. Take the scalpel and make a two centimeter vertical cut directly over the cricothyroid membrane. Insert your index finger into the hole and palpate the cricothyroid membrane. Insert the scalpel horizontally and cut side to side. You can turn the scalpel 180 degrees to cut the other side of the membrane. Insert the index finger into the hole and press the scalpel against the thyroid shield. Remove the protective cap from the tracheal hook. Insert the hook into the side of the trachea, rotate it down towards the feet and up to the sky. You may now remove the scalpel. Continue to gently pull up with the tracheal hook and insert the ETT down and then towards the feet into the tracheal space. Remove the tracheal hook. Inflate the ETT's distal cuff with 5 to 10 centimeters of air. Remove the 10 cc syringe. Stabilize the ETT and remove the stylet. Provide the first ventilation as quickly as possible. You should evaluate for an ETCO2 waveform with the first breath. This is the gold standard of confirmation with a surgical airway. Once you have confirmed the surgical airway, Continue ventilations and attach the white or black neck strap to secure the airway in place. Continuously monitor vital signs and continue to ventilate. 